Well, good morning, good evening, and good afternoon to you one and all. This is Little Daffodil, and today we are back in the lighthouse in the hubby's creative world. That is MC Gets Blocks A Lot. Yes, he's a very creative fellow, as you can tell from his name. Um, for those of you who haven't seen it, we put out a first video in which we started decorating this little lighthouse, which is actually fairly large. Uh, we started as a quick reminder with actually building out this room and decorating the room underneath it, which is the storage and dive area. Quick look for those of you who, who uh, didn't see it or need a quick reminder. I'm quite proud of it, so I'll show it off again. Uh, yeah, I'm really quite pleased with it, so I'll show it again. Okay, now enough of that. We are going to work on this part. This part, what is this part, you might say? Well, this part is the laboratory. It is at the basement underneath the water of the observatory. So now, one of the first things I need to do is something I talked about in the last video. I need to go and put some um, reinforcing pilings um, because there's no way that the whole weight of the lighthouse, which is fairly large, could rest on all of just that glass. It's a very tall, very large, uh, large edifice. So my thought is to go ahead and put some pilings on the corners of the island using the actual stone here that uh, he used to build it up in the first place. So I'm going to start by doing that and then I will come back to you and we will continue with the decorating of the laboratory. All right, I'll be back in a mo. All right, so I have put in some pilings. I'm not sure if you can see them out there, but right straight ahead in my crosshairs, I've basically put a four block square of mossy cobble on each corner and uh, that's kind of my nod toward real life and all the engineering that it would take to make such a structure as this stand up. So we're going to go with that. Now, in here, the idea in here, this is where people will literally sit to observe things that are going on out there um, and collate data. So what I'm thinking is a couple of places for people to sit, um, write things down, that kind of stuff. And then a central area where people will come, like a conference table. And so I've gathered up some things that I think will be useful. And I'm going to start with the conference table, I think, because I have a couple of ideas, but I'm not sure what will work and what will not. Um, I've never really tried something like this, honestly. Um, so what I was wondering is if I start out, well, I need to make sure it's centered in the room. Well, I start a core of quartz and then I put these around the edge. My only concern is will this be then too big? But also it's very white. It's just all very white in here. And I was kind of, okay, this can, this can work as a conference table. Yes, this can work as a conference table. We have, although I could center it. I was kind of working off where the stairs are, but that's really not the center. Although this is the main observ, no, that's not the main observation side. This is the main observation side where I've got the sea landers. Yes, yeah, so, okay, well, we need to move the whole thing over now. <laughs> It's just not far enough over. So I think we move it over one. And that puts it toward that side of the room. One, two, three, four blocks off there. One, two, three, four, and one. Which side do I want the one? I think I want the one on the stairs side. Except that's not the end center of the room. We'll go with this. And then that goes in there, and that, because it does have two blocks in the middle. Okay, so we have our conference table, and we can use, I thought I pulled in everything I might need, but you know, I'm, I'm beginning to realize that is not the case. That is so not the case. Um, because I'm always thinking of something because creative mode give me, gives me license 
for everything. So what I'm thinking of is carpet squares of different colors as if there's different file folders sitting on the table and not just um, placeholders. So let's try that. Say a green one there, a red one there, blue one there. Yeah. You know, I'm not convinced, not convinced. So the other thought is to try just plain old silver, well, iron pressure plates and then put in our seating which would be quartz stairs in this case although those are sitting awfully close together which makes it a couch which I don't want so either I make the table bigger or I go ahead and let that be a double chair on that side. Um, the other thing though I could use to bring in some color. I'm gonna have to see what this looks like on my husband's account because he does not have the texture pack that I have. So this is going to look like the regular jungle wood, which I think to me has more of a pink cast to it. Um, the other thought too is the center of the table, the center of the table could be, 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 be some jungle wood and see now we're breaking, oh excuse me wrong button, now we're breaking up all of that white which is a lot and then we can put a couple of flowers I keep hitting the wrong buttons excuse me I love these blue flowers they are amongst my faves in the whole game so let's put two of them there and you know what it did what did I just see in here there was something I saw which I'll have to see it. It looked very uh, mystical and I'm like, ooh, that could look like apparatus. All right, so there we have our conference table. And with the emerald in the flooring and everything, I think that the green tinged jungle wood works. Why do I have a line? Oh, I'm standing in the glass block square and so I'm getting a line right there. And here I was thinking that the world had blown apart. Okay. The only thing I might wish, let's see, how are these centered on the table? I guess the lighting is kind of centered on the table well enough. It's just a little odd. But I don't want, I can't change anything up here without affecting the floor above, so I have to be careful about that. Okay, so we have, we have our conference table. That is good. We are on the road here, folks. Um, I found some other things in there in the inventory of reality here that we might be able to use for various things. Uh, let's put all that away. So we need an observation area on each side. So a set of chairs and then hmm, let's see first of all how would they get in there to sit down and then they need some kind of table. Now, when I take these out, below we have, of course, the basement. But, because what I'm thinking, what I'm wondering is I can't ignite those. I can't ignite those without and by igniting, I mean I can't, I need a switch to pop them up. You know this, so that won't work. What do these look like? Okay, so what if we just do something like that? 
it's more interesting looking than just another piece of wood is what I'm thinking. And if I put down a post and put something on it, it's to me that's just too tall for the quote unquote couch. So we have an observation area. Somebody would sit here, observe what's going on out there, take notes, whatever. They come over here, they could talk, they can meet. And then we do the same thing here. Okay. So this is turning into an observational slash conference room, but I did want it to have some sciencey stuff, and I, I know sciencey is a great technical term. I I, I know, um, I'm all for the technical terms here. So what we used observers, I think, to good effect in the room below. We can use. There's, I found the prismarine and the prismarine blocks. I thought those looked really good. Those could be useful. Let's see. Oh, and this beacon and an enchanting table and item frames and fishes. Uh, those all struck me as things that we might be able to use. Now, I noticed something. I can actually put an item frame on a glass pane which I didn't realize before. So it's not just we can put it up here and put a fish and a puffer fish up there because that's what they're out here observing. But we could, I'm wondering if what we could do also, say we put it here, and say we put it here. Well, I say we will, come on, there we go. And then we put something on the frame that makes it look like it's, you know, some kind of piece of equipment, something that you might, you know, pick up and utilize. Uh, oh, and also, I forgot about this. I can put that, give the couch arms. <laughs> it's not a bad thing. And we can do the same here. I wish we could do the item frames that it could show the type of wood you made it from. That way these would match up, but that's okay. Oh, the other thing too is we could use a signage, piece of signage for that, but I, I'm, I'm okay with the item frames there for now. <sighs> I gotta think about this some more. I want it to look better than that. I just don't know exactly how to do that. Um, now imagine that there's a data collection or recording area here. And so imagine that that's what this all is. This is all technical equipment. And we're gonna go ahead and say that there's some magic involved just because I really like the enchanting table and I wanna use it. <laughs> so I am not above saying that I like it and therefore I'm going to use it. Um, I don't wanna put any storage stuff up here so I probably shouldn't have grabbed that. And we've got the prismarine blocks. We've got sponge packed ice. Oh, books, books, books. That was the other thing I wanted to make sure and use. I want there to be plenty of books here because people are, are recording information. They're observing and they are recording. So actually, what I think I'm gonna do for the ends of these is I'm gonna put books, bookshelves. Um, so that works there and there. And then I can actually put redstone torches, I think, right on top of each one uh, for implied lighting. Although we don't want to light too much in here because then what are you gonna see out there, you know? I need two in there, thank you. Okay. So we have seating for people to do their observations, seating to do observations. We have some fish on the wall, the conference table for people to sit and talk and go over their findings. Let's see what this side looks like without that. I think actually I'm gonna do a couple more bookshelves there. So I really want to use this beacon somewhere too, because to me it just seems really cool, like it would fit, but I actually am beginning to think that this room is good. This room is good. We had so much digging out to do uh, for the first episode that uh, 
that that basement piece took a long time. You know what? Maybe this belongs down here somewhere. This beacon. Just take that down. Put it there. So it looks like, yeah, eh, that'll do for now. Until I can figure out something better. But it's just, it's a neat thing, so I wanted to put it somewhere. But I'll stop playing with it now. Okay, so we have, I think we've pretty well got this. Oh, the one thing we could do is we can add some more flowers. There's nothing like some flowers. So let's clear that out, that out. Clear all that out. Let's pick a couple flowers here, folks. I don't want the really tall stuff necessarily. The cactus might be cool. We know that'll go in there. A red mushroom. Not the dead bush. Let's do an orange and let's do this one. Okay, so let's just go ahead and plunk down a couple more of those and just replace in these. I love how they shape themselves to fit. There we go. Just a little bit of greenery. Or well, not really green, I guess. And let's Oh, can I put one on the slab? I guess I can't. Okay. All right. So here's the upper portion of the lab. The bottom being the dive center. And then you come and you sit here and the divers are out there and you communicate with them. Hmm. Do you know I think this will do? I think it will. I may have some more ideas later, but for now, I am good with this. So we're not going to work on the first floor today. I'm actually going to keep this video short. I'm going to stick with just what we've done so far, and I'm going to say goodbye to you now. Check out the next video in which we decorate this room. And for now, let's go ahead and just take one last quick walkthrough look at what we just did. If you have any suggestions for improvements, any thoughts of additional things that I can add into this room, please let me know. Again, this is the upper portion of the observatory for undersea life forms, also known as laboratory, uh, conference room, observational room. So any thoughts you have, please put it in the comments and we'll take it into consideration. Thank you as always. Oh, derpy boy. He's back. That, that's just weird. That's just really weird, guy. All right, folks. Thank you again, as always, for watching. And I will catch you in the next video where we will work on the first floor of the lighthouse.